Okay, today is a vlog that is kind of a last minute vlog because it's been a crazy day. A lot of times I'll base my success of the day on how much TV I let my kids watch. So yeah, I maybe let my kids watch like four hours of TV today, a little bit in the morning while I was getting ready, a little bit at lunchtime while I was doing cooking and cleaning and putting groceries away, and then um, getting ready for dinner. So, yeah, not like my, so yeah, not my best day, but not like the worst day now that I think of it. Anyway, so um, I didn't want to not post a, a vlog today because it's my goal to do five days a week for the whole year. And so I was thinking of what to do for the vlog today and I kind of keep a list on my phone of ideas of vlogs that I could do. This one I had written down a while ago. Okay, sorry, I just realized that my ISO was set really low and my dryer was being really loud, so. So my junior year um, in high school, we had an English teacher who was English and she was really awesome. So she would just tell us how it is. She would cut us off if, if we knew, if she knew that like our the point we were trying to make was just like fizzling out. She would just be like, stop, that's enough, like you're done. <laughs> um, I, and I specifically remember the first day of class, um, she was she was just going off on something and you know, teaching. And I was just like staring into nowhere, just like totally zoning out. And like she's walking around and she goes, you're not paying attention, like right to my face. And it really scared me, but it got me to pay attention and I, probably paid a lot better attention the rest of my life because of that one experience. Another time, and this is the one I wanted to talk about, another experience with her, she taught us how to properly give a compliment. And she had gotten her hair done, and one of the girls in the class says, Mrs. Snyder, you got, did you get your hair done? And she says, yes. And the girl kind of like, pause, like hesitated for a second before saying like, it looks cute or whatever. And, and Mrs. Snyder, uh, she kind of just like chuckled and said, let me tell you how to give a compliment. You don't start with a question. You start with the compliment. So if someone gets their hair done or somebody gets a new car or somebody, whatever, their, their house looks better, anything, you start with the compliment and then ask the question. So say someone gets their hair done, you say, wow, your hair looks really pretty. Did you get it done? And then they can say, thank you. No, I didn't, or thank you, yes I did. And uh, yeah, so that's my lesson to you guys on how to properly give a compliment. You will thank me for the rest of your life every time that you get a compliment, or every time you give a compliment. So anyway, that's my little story time for today. Mrs. Snyder, wherever you are, thank you for teaching me how to give compliments. Thank you for teaching me how to uh, pay attention in a class or in any situation to just like, you know, focus and not let my brain uh, wander. And thank you for teaching me how to write. She really taught me how to critically think and, and, and write, which helped me through the rest of high school and especially in college and even now as I'm, as I'm vlogging and blogging. Um, I often think of her and how she helped me to uh, critically think and to just kind of think outside the box and to be real. She was just a very authentic, real person and you knew you were hearing what she thought when she said it. At the same time though, she let you know that she cared about you and, you know, wanted the best for you. And so, she's one of my favorite teachers ever. Um, let me know in the comments who your favorite teacher is, why they're your favorite teacher. And as always, let's just remember to appreciate our teachers and our leaders and, and our mentors in our life. Uh, we all need them and, and I'm, I'm very blessed to have had really good mentors and teachers in my life. So anyway, that's all for today, guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend. We're going up um, to the mountains of Arizona. It's actually very like woodsy. If you didn't know, we get we get we have pretty good forests, except there was a big fire lately. So I hope that they're okay. But anyway, we're going up to the mountains for the weekend for Fourth of July, and yeah, we'll see you guys on Monday. Pajama drawers?